Hey, what's going on, guys? Sub Sister here. Welcome back to episode two of my daylight walkthrough. Now then, the first part was so intense, guys. It was really intense. There's just like random noises and oh, spooky music and whatnot. It was really, really creepy. So if we just continue off with episode two and see what happens next in this walkthrough, it's going to be so intense as well. Oh my goodness. Let's just see what happens. What's that? What's what? What? What can she see? There's nothing there. Lex, anything there? No, it's just. I thought there was something there then. Anything here? There's a door. Some memories, I think. They weather in flame, Sarah. Use it to your advantage. They will not harm you if you do. Lit flares will protect you. Press two. All right, so that's a flare. What does it mean? They will not harm you. Holy crap! What's that? Shit. Shit. Where's the fucking... <laughs> huh? Uh oh. the heck? The days. My heart is just trembling. Just, ah, oh, picked up a flare, nice. Patience, inexplicably died overnight. Oh. Body was discovered by the nurse this morning in preparation for electroshock therapy. Body was transported to the morgue, cremation scheduled for this evening. No kin to notify. What the heck's that though? Miss Eunice Goodman gave patients a stuffed bear as a toy. Without permission from a patient's, doc patient's doctor, Miss Goodman has been thoroughly reprimanded and was reassigned away from the children's ward until further notice. I don't know what we're going to do there. We can't even access it. Look how pitch dark it is. Whenever I don't have that. If we just check the doors that we haven't been through, such as this one. Uh oh. Oh my guys. I wonder what lies behind this door. Wow, look at that. Find another glow stick. Okay, I think there was another glow stick as well. Oh! What the heck? Whoa! Open the door, come on. Holy crap, look at all that. Oh. What is this? Whoa! 
Oh, what? what the hell? Can it be? What's that? Let's check what this what has what's behind this door because we didn't go through here. Hello. Can we light a torch? No, we can't. Damn. I can hear footsteps through here. Not this way? No, not that way. Oh my god. What was that sound? There was something. Oh crap. So many random noises. <laughs> oh, no. I think I'm heading into the right direction now, along this really long corridor. Yeah, I remember that little piece of cloth. There's that room. This is... No, not there. Um, where was it? Which way was it? Is there anything through here? No. Right. Well, we are being forced to... Unless there's another... No, there isn't. Yeah, this is our way... This is our way out. So we do exit through here. I'm sure there was a... Maybe the le this left turning that we take. They will come to in a minute. Yeah, that one I think. I think that's the right way forward. Or maybe not. It's probably this way. I know you're there. Why? Oh wow. Okay. So that was basically like a key. Let's, uh, let's light this up to see if we can find any clues lying around. Oh, okay. Got a clue here. ATTN. Okay. All, all employees last night at approximately 7 p.m., the power went off to this section of the facility. Due to the unfortunate timing, we were unable to transfer a critical patient to the emergency department and he passed away in transit in the hallway behind the records, the records room security door. Okay. To avoid this type of tragedy in the future, the hospital has decided that non-maintenance staff should be aware that the security door will not operate when the power is out. You must reset the breaker before using the door. Please familiarize yourself with the power switch's location within the records room stacks management. Alright. What's this here? This doesn't seem to be working right. Well, nah. Obviously. Look at it. It looks broken. Right, let's pick up this. Whatever this is. Alright, it's another note. ATT in again. Alright, so. All employees, we understand that it is difficult to make it outside on your 10 minutes breaks. Oh, your 10 minute breaks. However, just because the records room, or the records room, however you say that word, is large and has high ceilings does not mean you can move things about and create a satellite break room for smoking. We have caught several staff members moving supply crates, stacking them precariously, and climbing out and climbing over them to serve as lookout. Be advised, this is not gym equipment. Climbing on crates of medical supplies will not be tolerated. Management. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's back here. What, 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 what was that? What, what the flip was that? 
There's so much reading in this game. Alright, so Miss Daniels was found dead in her staff quarters this morning. There was a suicide note indicating she was extremely unhappy at work and her personal life. Personnel on site states that she died from a rapid from rapid blood loss caused by self-inflicted lacerations on her wrists. Her body was found sitting in a wheelchair. Oh, Sajina. Pending a police investigation, Miss Daniels' body was transported to the morgue. This is eerily similar to the other instances. Mm. Yes. What? 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 God. What the heck are you? What the heck was that? Kipling citizens excuse, accused crime. Sixteen year, sixteen year old girl, low to live, admits guilt. EST estimated may be condemned to hang. Evil, a spitter open to deal with spread of disease. Whoa! Stop! Stop! Oh damn! 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 Everything's on fire. Oh, what ails you, Sarah? Perhaps truth? Really pure. Never simple. While on nightly rounds, Nurse Mor Moriarty noticed patient 90D standing in his room. Yes, yeah, standing in his room in an agitated state. The nurse claimed the man was beating his face against the mesh prote protecting the glass. She screamed for help, and by the time we arrived, the patient's face was completely covered in blood. Wow. And her... Yeah, completely covered in blood. Where are we now? And he was raving about faces in the dark. Patient was quickly subdued and taken to the infirmary, where the attending physician reported he will likely lose both eyes. Oh, peak. Patient did not seem bothered by this. Recommending transfer to Dr. Mercer's care. Okay. Oh my, another one. And then there is the hospital as it stands today. Abandoned and referred to by the locals as Crow Island for its ominous bird population. The, ho the hospital and the island it, it sits on are now more synonymous with rumours about curses and hauntings. There is hardly a youth in New Kirpling or Kipling who does not entertain the rite of passage of sneaking into the abandoned building and the stories they conduct they concoct never heard that word before about hearing voices, smelling cigar smoke, or even seeing women's shadows wandering the the hallways have done little to preserve the reputation of this once life saving pillar of our community. Hello there, sir. How are you, mate? I'm looking for my memories. Have you seen any? Hmm? Have you? Oh, okay. I think that was talking about the man who had his eyes gorged out. There's a note there that I've missed. Why is there a random red light? Let's pick it up. Right. Psych psychiatric ward reports. Patients have uh, patients have taken their pills and are all settled in after evening meals. Dyer refuses to check on patient 90D after the incident. He spat blood all over her and yelled some gibberish about casting a spell. Today is my first day observing patient 90D. He seemed high, strung, and ready to snap, except towards Patrice. She is oddly special to him. Well then, that's, that's, that's quite interesting. Some objects can be climbed. Ah, interesting. Well guys, we shall be climbing this in the next episode. So thank you all for watching. This has been Subsisto. If you've enjoyed episode 2, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned and to stay in touch with this uh, little walkthrough so you don't miss a single episode. I will be tweeting them out on my Twitter. Um, link will be in the description if you don't already follow me on there so as always guys take care have a nice day and peace